All right, being that I'm having technical difficulties with this dumbass fucking iPhone. Apple, stop making fucking cell phones. Anyway, the only reason that I would look at fucking WrestleMania this year, if this would happen, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, and Seth Rollins, triple threat match, a payback match from WrestleMania 31. That would be great, but you know they're not going to fucking do that. You know what I'm saying? They'd be overworking those boys in the back because they don't let everybody go. I'm still mad at the fact that they let go of the fame Bray Wyatt. They make no goddamn sense. You know what I'm saying? They still trying to build that fucking damn skyscraper, so they trying to cut talent. See what I'm saying? So all your main event people on SmackDown and Raw, say something happened to one of them. That mess up your whole card at WrestleMania. You gotta have you gotta have a fallback plan. Say a Roman Reigns get hurt, then what the fuck you gonna do? Huh? Drew McIntyre, of course, because him against Bar- uh, Baron Corbin. Eh, Baron Corbin was hot in NXT. When he came to the main roster, again, they don't know what the fuck to do with that damn talent. I'm not trying to say he can't wrestle. He's not good. But he he was great when he was the lone wolf. But y'all fucked that up. You know what I'm saying? So if Braun Breaker comes to the fucking main roster, what? You gonna make him to um, a construction worker? No disrespect to William Regal because that's the only real man's man. Oh, by the way, he's in Revolution. He's in um, AEW now. That's good. So you're gonna see that ticket. You know, you're gonna see that card. I'm saying, I'm saying, you try, you're going to see that wrestling show, you know, go to new heights because Regal knows what to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, the thing about AEW acquiring all this talent, you got to understand something. They acquired on um, Ring of Honor. So with that being said, all the people that they're signing, Tony Khan's smart when it comes to that. I bought Ring of Honor, so I'm going to bring them down to Ring of Honor. See what I'm saying? And that opens up the door for a whole lot of shit. So you're thinking, okay, you think of it like this. NWA, National Wrestling Alliance, Ring of Honor Wrestling, AEW. You know what I'm saying? They made their own type of territory, so to speak. With the exclusion of NWA, that's a separate thing. We know that. But, you know, that's how NWA has grown. And TNA, without the use of WWE at all. See what I'm saying? WWE had to go to them for Mickey James, for um, um, TNA or Impact, whatever the fuck you call it. You know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't fill up the card enough. Oh, we're the Forbidden Door. I mean, why the fuck y'all just name a pay-per-view called a Forbidden Door? But then, being that this Ring of Honor talent is specifically with um, AEW now, it's going to be hard. See what I'm saying? You remember back in the day, I said this about, about four years ago, when they tried to uh, close the deal with New Japan, New Japan said no. Because New Japan know that damn WWE will fucking nerf their product. And that's not how New Japan ro- rolls. And the crazy motherfucking thing is, I think Shinsuke Nakamura is still hurt. I don't like how they, util- they utilize Shinsuke Nakamura. Because it make no fucking sense. He ain't been world champion none in the main roster. Why is that? You know, the Keith Lee, he's gone. Keith Lee has so much potential. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for weight issues. Fuck that. How big was the big show again? How big was fucking down, um, um, Big Daddy V? How big was uh, the great Kali? He wasn't in shape all the time. You know, how big was Mark Henry? Do I need to keep going? All those guys were great with the schools of great Kali. I never learned. He's a, a mammoth dude, but wrestling, nah, that wasn't his thing. But yeah, you miss me on that bullshit. All the time, Kane got out of shape. The fuck out of here with them CGI abs. He had to put on them because he was out of shape. Now, I love Kane to death. Don't get me wrong. Just let you know. You look at some of them old Kanes when he first took his mask off. He bald-headed. You know, and them abs were looking right. And then you look closer. Those are CGI abs. Photoshop abs. Yeah, I mean. But I just want to stop by and talk about wrestling right quick. You know what I'm saying? Cody Rhodes, I don't think he's going to go back to WWE. Yeah, it's still on the table. But you got to understand something. Guess what role he's going to play when he go back? He ain't trying to be Stardust a fucking again. You know how stupid Vince McMahon is. You know what I'm saying? He always one, one-sided with his damn thinking. Now, okay, I do respect now. I used to talk shit about it. He's going to induct The Undertaker to WWE Hall of Fame. Okay, fine. That's great, but I wish it'll be a joint venture because he meant so much to a whole lot of wrestlers. It shouldn't just be Vince McMahon's call. Here's my thing. Here's what should happen. In a, the first time in history of WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony, there's Mick Foley, there's uh, 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 Kane, there's um, Vince McMahon, Shawn Michaels, Triple H. 
there's five people to induct him in the Hall of Fame. That would be great. Because think of the matches that he had with those people. Yeah, you know I mean? Being that, the reason why Mick Foley should stand out for me is this. Mick Foley, Mankind, has the most wins over the Undertaker's, in the, in the Undertaker's career. Period. Now, okay. He might get two industrial ceremonies. Think about it. WrestleMania's in Texas this year. This is going to be a big WrestleMania, though. Texas. Although the Cowboys suck, but WrestleMania always steals the show. So, yeah. That's going to piss the Undertaker off here. Ever hear this? Prescott, whatever the fuck his name is, they need to cut that dude because he can't win no damn games. It's embarrassing how that team does. I'm a Steelers fan, so let, don't let me get started. The Cowboys is the most losingest team in history, in my opinion. Oh, we won Super Bowls. How many Super Bowls the Steelers won? I rest my case. I don't want to. Let's not let's not talk about that. You know what I'm saying? Rosslers Burger step down. Yeah, man, fuck. We got the rebuild. God damn it. Anyway, let me end the video of the day because when I talk about Steelers versus Cowboys, it gets real kind of heated. In this fucking podcast room, motherfucker. So, uh, anyway, in the words of C.C. Fletcher, it is still your motherfucking set, whether you like it or not, <laughs> motherfucker.